Okay, we've got the Le Mans back in the garage and after the initial drive in the last video, um, the biggest problem was heat. Transmission was getting hot and the engine was running a little hotter than I wanted to. Um, so in this video, what I've done is I have bought a new transmission cooler and I'm mounting it up front and I bought an aftermarket rad and we're going to see what kind of a difference it makes with, with the heat. Um, just so in the future, if you ever have a problem like this, you'll know if it's worth buying uh, an aftermarket rad and uh, you know maybe don't mount the transmission cooler under the floor like I did. So by moving a transmission cooler to the front and putting a larger rad in, we're going to see what kind of a difference it makes. So we've gone ahead. This is my buddy Dave. He's, he's giving me a hand today. And uh, we've pulled the old rad out. This is a factory rad out of a 2000 Camaro. And you'll see how thick the core is in relation to the end tanks. It, there's not a whole lot there. This is an aftermarket three row intercooler uh, rad that I got off eBay. It was about 130 bucks US. And it's supposed to be a direct fit for a 2000 Camaro. And you know, you put these two things side by side, you can see the difference. Yeah, you're about you're an inch there. We're two and, two, two and a quarter on this guy, so we're we're over twice as wide, and it's got the same mounting points for the the fan shroud sitting over there, so it'll just clip right in. Um, I did have to get a little bit of fab work done to it because this guy had an extra um, hose barb there and down there, which the 2000 Camaro did not have, so I'm not sure what that was about. But I've had those, I had those plugged and uh, you know, we're getting ready to drop it in now. The transmission cooler, I mounted a cooler up front. This is, just to show you the one I bought. It's made by Long and this is an 11 inch by 11 inch uh, transmission cooler. And as much as I didn't want to have it up front just cause more or less the aesthetics and I didn't want that extra heat going through the front um, under the floor, just, I don't feel is working properly. So I'm running it up front and I'm getting rid of those dash 10 braided lines with the AN fittings. Um, and I'm just running just three eighths steel line. Hopefully to try and slow the flow down, um, slow the, slow the, the oil down going through the cooler. So it has more time to cool. And by putting it up front, we've got more airflow, but that's more heat now that's going through the rad. So my tranny temp, when I took it for a drive, I got up to like 210 and the engine temp was sitting, it ranged between 205 and 212, which is hotter than I wanted to run, even though it was a hot day. Um, I took it for a drive a few nights ago when it was a little cooler out and my engine temp got down to about 196 is the lowest I saw it. Transmission was around between 190 and 200. So it did act better on cooler days, but that's also with me not pushing the car. I plan on pushing the hell out of this car and uh, I, I don't feel the factory stuff's gonna do it for me. So we'll see how this goes. Dave and I are gonna get this tossed in right now and then, uh, and then we'll see how it goes. We'll take it for a drive. Okay, so we got the rad and transmission cooler all done. It's hot as balls in here. <laughs> yeah, if you can see on there, that's where we're at today and that's without the humidity. And that's pretty much been the last month in Canada here. Um, but you'll see the rad fit pretty good. Um, we did have to trim the shroud a little bit. The rad is a little bit wider, so we, we had to cut a little bit off, but it wasn't a big deal. It actually went in pretty easy. Uh, the transmission cooler, you'll see I've got it up front here. I've got my line, well, it's a little dark in there, but um, it's not pretty, but I've got metal lines run back. And uh, yeah, the, the hardest part about all this was just doing those 3 8 lines. 3 8 lines are not that easy to bend. But uh, we're about to take it for a drive and make sure everything's good. Uh, we just ran it for a bit in here and purged all the air out of the system. Um, if you've never purged the air out of an LS, it, it can be frustrating. Fill it full of water, <laughs> plug it in and just Rev the bag out of it a little bit. It'll it'll blow the it'll blow the air out. But we're gonna take it for a drive right now and uh, and see if uh, everything runs cooler. So we've been driving the car for about 15 minutes now. Temperature, like it's a hot day. 
yeah, you saw what it was what it was in the garage. It's it's like 40 degrees with the humidity right now, which is I don't know what that is in Celsius or uh, Fahrenheit, probably like 110. Temperature is at 198 for the engine and still dropping. And transmission, I'm sitting about 180, actually 175 for the tranny. So considering when I took this thing for its first drive, it was about the same temperature that it is right now. My engine's running about 10 degrees cooler, 14 degrees cooler, and the transmission's running, uh, well, like 35 degrees cooler. So I would say the rads had an effect on it and definitely the location of that trainee cooler being up front with smaller lines and uh, just a larger cooler in, in general is working much better. Because I've been honking on it too. It's holding up. Temperatures are staying pretty, uh, pretty steady. So I chalked it up as a success. We just got back from about a half hour drive and uh, engine temps around 195 and I think that's about as good as it's going to get. Uh, for being a really hot day, 195, I think that's as good as we're going to get like that you can hope for because you got to think now we've got the intercooler in front of the rad, we've got the oil transmission cooler in front of the rad. Um, that's all that heat that's getting pushed through the rad. So. I would say, I would say it works. I would say for the $130 I spent on that rad, um, it did bring my temp down uh, over, the, over the factory. So, and the transmission cooler is working much better being up front. So we saw, we saw cooler temperatures with the, with the, with, with the tranny. Um, so, I've had enough of riding around this car today because it's bloody hot. Um, it was fun, but it's time to time to head in the house but hope this helps if you're thinking about going with a bigger rad it is i i feel it is worth it and uh you know if you can drop the drop the engine temp by 10 degrees then that's good in the long run for the motor anyway but that's it for this video